What if you could take a pill that improved your productivity at work? And what if that pill were free? Oh, and what if it made you feel really good and improved your overall health? No such pill exists, but science suggests an alternative does, sleep. In today's globalized, hyper-connected, hustle work culture, we're often spending longer hours working, frequently at the cost of our sleep. It may seem obvious that sleep is both beneficial and important, but I'd never really given much thought about how to sleep better and more productively, until years back when I lost the ability to sleep efficiently. Even without fully grasping what sleep does for us, we know that going without sleep for too long makes us feel terrible and that getting a good night's sleep can make us feel ready to take on the world. In this video, I'm going to talk about sleep from two perspectives. One, on why we should sleep better, and two, on ways to sleep better, which you can apply to your life immediately. So before I talk about how to actually sleep productively, we need to be sold on why sleeping better is actually important. Hi, I'm Rishi and thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm a practicing nutritionist with a background in human physiology and nutritional sciences. Here, I take a holistic and scientific approach to all aspects of health and wellness. I use food and lifestyle changes to optimize one's nutrition, to promote longevity and healthy aging. So if you want to hack your health span and be the best version of yourself, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. Sleep is pretty weird. Evolutionarily, sleep is a ridiculously stupid thing because we're out cold for some time where any predator could come and kill us while we're completely defenseless. But for some reason, evolution has decided that these risks are totally worth it and that the benefits of sleep far outweigh being blind, paralyzed and defenseless for a part of our lives. Evidence suggests that a good night's sleep seriously boosts productivity. Yet paradoxically, what is the main driver of poor sleep? Work overload. So many of us are not getting enough sleep because we're working too much. And we're not working efficiently because we're not getting enough sleep. Sound like a bad cycle? Why do we sleep anyway? Although scientists aren't entirely sure why we sleep, they have many ideas about the functions of this mysterious part of our lives. While some of these functions may have deep evolutionary roots, others such as sleep's potential role in memory and health seem particularly relevant to life in today's world. Firstly, one of the key points is that we all actually kind of need more sleep. There's this epidemic of people not sleeping 7 plus hours a night and this attitude of Oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead, and I only need 5-6 to six hours of sleep every night to function perfectly fine. There's a ton of evidence showing that if you chronically sleep for less than 7-8 to eight hours a night, you're screwing yourself in various domains of life. Yes, apparently there are people who can sleep for less than 6 hours each night and function completely fine without any issues. But those are less than 1% of the population. So if you think you're in that camp, great. I certainly am not. Secondly, even if you feel we're alright when we get 6 hours of sleep a night, Apparently, the evidence shows that we are pretty bad at assessing our own performance and function while sleep deprived. So while being sleep deprived, we think we're totally fine. That's why we should aim for 8 hours a night, and if we don't, it can lead to all sorts of issues further down the line. Studies show getting quality sleep on a regular basis can help improve all sorts of issues, from mind, body and heart health to your blood sugar and your workouts. Here's a quick dive into 7 ways that quality sleep benefits your life and health span. Number 1. Sharper brain and memory. Sleep and work performance go hand in hand. Sleep improves concentration and cognitive function, keeping your focus on point all day. Sleep plays a big part in learning and memory too. It allows your brain to hit the save button on your day to create long-term memories. Sleep provides a time when the brain's synapses, the connections between neurons, shrink by nearly 20%, causing the brain to shrink and letting the neurons rest and prep for the next day. Without this reset, known as synaptic homeostasis, synapses could become overloaded and burnt out like an electrical outlet with too many appliances plugged into it. The cerebrospinal fluid then steps in to clear out all the waste and toxins from the brain. This reduces inflammation and prevents dementia. Number two, mood management. Another thing that your brain does while you sleep is process your emotions. A lack of sleep at night can make you cranky the next day. And over time, skimping on sleep can mess up more than just your morning mood. Your mind needs this time in order to recognize and react the right way. When you cut that short, you tend to have more negative emotional reactions and fewer positive ones. And a chronic lack of sleep can also raise the chance of having a mood disorder, making you five times more likely to develop depression, anxiety, or panic disorders. Number three, a healthier heart. Sleep reduces blood pressure, giving your heart and blood vessels a bit of a rest. The less you sleep, the longer both your blood pressure and stress hormone cortisol stay elevated during a 24-hour cycle. This increases chances of heart disease. Number four, athletic performance and balance. Sleep affects all types of exercise performance. 
it promotes physical recovery in the body. As you sleep, your body tissues repair, grow and strengthen while producing its muscle building hormones of testosterone and growth hormone. Further, it helps with hand-eye coordination and reaction time. Number five, steadies blood sugar. During the deep, slow wave sleep, blood glucose drops. Not enough time in this deepest stage means you don't get that reset. This can negatively affect blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity, making you more susceptible to developing type 2 diabetes over time. Number six, immune health and inflammation. Sleep regulates your immune system. When you don't get enough sleep, inflammation can result. Chronic inflammation keeps the immune system in overdrive, increasing your risk of autoimmune disorders and other health issues. Plentiful sleep allows your immune cells the rest they need to fight off whatever harmful bacteria and viruses come their way. Number seven, weight control. When you're well rested, you're less hungry. Sleep deprivation imbalances your appetite control hormones by increasing ghrelin, which makes you hungry, and lowering leptin, which tells you you're full. It also increases your stress hormone cortisol, making you pull on the fat. And being tired makes you less active as well. Together, this is a recipe for putting on weight. 